This is it. Oh my gosh. They're so skinny. I wonder if they're all this tall. I hope that's not the roots. Like it's upside down? Dirt's definitely coming out. Hubba, hubba. Look at them. Oh, yeah, some of them are in bit. Look yeah, at look, that. Yeah, these are pretty thick. And look at the, I don't know if they can see I like it. how tall they are. Yeah. That's that's a five-foot tree. Okay, grab. So we got, looks like three, five, four five. root balls. One, two, three, four, okay. But we've got two different kinds of trees in here. So we got a, oh, shoot. Yeah, they're labeled. Cute. That one does have little buds on. And then I think there should be 20 golden. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot more in each of these. Seems potentially correct. Okay, I didn't so realize. Go ahead and lean them up against I didn't the wall. realize how many buckets we were going to need. So Two is good. We'll put the quarters together and we'll put the grasses together. Dang, look how tall they are. Those got trimmed at the top, too. Our trees have arrived. We've got 10, 10, 20 golden russets here on G41. And we've got five and five quarters perfection. So 10 total of those on bud nine. What the nursery said is we need to soak these in water for a few hours before we plant them because they've been in shipping for a few days. So we're gonna get these soaking. Then while these are soaking in the water, we're gonna head down to our micro orchard area, dig up the holes, get all the groundwork done and prepped. Then we're gonna come back, get these trees and plant them today. We bought these trees from Mayrabian Nursery and so far we're very impressed. Each tree is at least four feet tall and appears to be very healthy. We went with this nursery because they offered the golden russet trees we were looking for and they have a similar growing climate to us here in Michigan. We paid approximately $16 per tree plus shipping. All right, so before we plant the trees, I wanna hook up our water connection. So we've got about 160 feet to the fence and then another 45 feet or so to each line of trees. In this micro orchard, we are mimicking the structure and setup of next year's 2000 trees over at the Hartwood property. We have our spacing at three feet by 12 feet, which should be optimal for growth and sunlight absorption. The holes we are now digging are 18 inches deep and 18 inches wide. With our holes dug, we quickly began planting. This was our first time planting anything, so the 10-step guide from the nursery helped a lot. Prior to placing a tree in the hole, we fan out the roots, making sure they aren't crossed or tangled. Then we create a small mound of dirt in the hole for the rootstock to rest on. After that, we slowly fill in the hole and lightly pack in the dirt. We do make sure to water the area after we're done so it's nice and moist. One thing to note, the rootstock does need to be above the ground in order for the tree to take on the characteristics of that rootstock and not the tree you're planting itself. I'm getting a little loopy. I should have brought you some food. food. No, I don't need food. Food's for the week. You put it the wrong way. I put it the wrong way every time. That's pretty good, actually. Good? Just one scoop. Chink. 
Mom's here for the audience, man. What are you talking about? The things you say on camera. See, that way people oh, know. I don't even think about it. I know. That's why you're here for the audience. Is that not good? You're natural. I'm natural. Ready? Is that a yeah? Natural Doof crazy person. New doofus. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Natural doofus. Maybe I can have ice cream. When? Tonight. How? We don't have ice cream. Oh no. uh, yeah, we do. Don't even think about stealing my ice cream sandwiches. Is that what sure. you're? Those were purchased for me. You ate yours. No. It was the fruit bars. Those were yours. That's true. Listen, my dad bought those for me. Not your work pants. Your work pants are getting dirty. I didn't not, not my work pants. Me neither. I made a mistake. I was going to go change and I just didn't. I thought it. I was going to walk. Me too. Just I thought I was going to work. Just I kidding. Yeah, I don't know what they are. They I'm new to apple farming. And then they just, I don't think they just like These roots were gro like growing up everywhere. Mm -hmm. These guys gotta sell down. Wow, look at that. What do you think? Look at this top. Good. He's, just like <laughs> me out. He's got hair on his head. Look, David. Look up. Hey, this one doesn't have branches. This is gonna be a pain in the booty, I can tell. Ready? I'm waiting. I can hear rocks. Please don't get dirt on my tree. On the tree? So it's don't get dirt on my tree. I'm going to water these last ones, but when you come out in the morning. It is getting hard for to... me to bend over on a full tummy, I'll tell you. You're going to have to do these ones. One, two, three, four more. No, I mean, smile when you water them, like in the morning or whatever. These, at the end, are going to need more water. You're going to need more water. Than the other ones. Incoming. It's going to take me a while. Can I get some dirt? Yeah. It's gravel, like 20 feet. No, it's like grassy dirt. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. Uh, today we're going to do just a few small things. We have all of our 30 apple trees planted. Today we're going to water them again by hand um, and then put wood chips at the base. We are planting these wood chips around our trees to help retain moisture because we have very sandy soil which drains quickly. And the wood chips will help prevent future weed growth. Eventually we'll align the entire tree row with these wood chips and extend them out 12 inches on both sides of the trees. 
in the near future we'll have trellis system for these trees to grow on but until then we've got these bamboo shoots that we're going to plant and strap to the tree trunks to make sure they grow straight we've got 30 or so to do so let's get to it Thanks so much for watching this video and tuning in to this week's episode. Thank you guys so much for supporting our channel and for subscribing. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, always follow your dreams.